and I've yeah. been doing a lot of virtual health, uh, you know, telemedicine and visits. So he had a problem. Is IT essential personnel also? Pharmacies, so you know, basically to what to I live in is probably so one of the hottest to places to be. To Right now, in America, they're, sh they're putting a shelter in place, which basically means they're advising us to stay inside. Um, except if you're getting essentials like groceries or um, banking, you know, really important stuff, um, tested, whatever. But uh, for the most part, you're, you're, we're not... We're not ordered to stay inside. It's more of an advisory type of thing, but um, it's pretty much you guys. You, it's now you really do have to stay away from people. That six foot rule. I've talked about that so much, and people in my neighborhood are not practicing it. And hopefully, now with this six counties in the Bay Area, people are practicing it. So I figured. What the hell? I'm going to document this. And, uh, it is, let me check the date. If I can, it is March, March 17th, so I'm going to do this every day for a couple of minutes, and right now, this is the beginning of our shelter in place, and it's supposed to last until March, or excuse me, April 6th. Um, I'm probably not going to be sheltering in place. Um, I've been pretty darn good about um, staying away from people. You know, social distancing. So, here we go. Day one of the shelter in place. Six counties here in the Bay Area. This ought to be fun. Well, it's 6.30 p.m. now. And <clears throat> I'm already getting cabin fever. Um, I can, Actually, I can do the stand on my head, but I haven't been out in a couple days. I've been working from my place. So... What I'm thinking I'm going to do is kind of wait. The sun hasn't gone down yet. The sun is taking forever to go down. I'm going to wait till the sun goes down, and then I am going to go ahead and sneak out. <laughs> Get some fresh air. Um, of course, stay distant from people and everything like that. Uh, yeah. And maybe I, I could do some shopping. Uh, I'm already good on my toilet paper. Let me show you real quick. For one person, that's enough for two weeks. I happened to get that toilet paper long before all the panic kicked in. Um, I got that. I actually got 10 pounds of ground beef. Plenty of pasta. I always These are things I always buy anyway. So it's like I already have a whole bunch of chicken and ground beef. In my freezer, so if the apocalypse is coming, it ain't gonna happen to me. So, <laughs> all right, so yeah, I'm gonna go out probably in about an hour and we'll see what it's like out there. All right, guys. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, uh, it's eight o'clock in the evening and I decided to finally come out uh, just to get some fresh air it's probably a good time to do it less traffic out well actually as you can see and I don't know why there's a glare in the lens but so I'm gonna wipe that off I'm sorry about that oh well nice effect very Steven Spielberg like but anyhow uh, yeah I just wanted to come out I figured this is a good time to do it less people around uh, gas station right there, as you can see, it's it's open. 
Um, stores are going to be open. In fact, you can't see it, but right up that way, I could have told, leaving my uh, apartment complex, I looked down towards grocery outlets down the way and, uh, and also a uh, Dollar Tree, and there are cops blocking the street. So I am, just from my point of view, I am assuming that people are going ape shit crazy uh, for toilet paper and other items, but seems to be toilet paper is the prime necessity these days. So yeah, I'm just going to go out and about, going to look around and uh, see how things go. Doesn't seem that people are sheltering in place quite yet. I don't know if they got the word out yet or anything, but right now uh, it doesn't, doesn't seem to be a shelter in place. People aren't really uh, either abiding by it, like I said, or just just don't know. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but again, you know, you can go outside and you can go shopping. You can do things like that. So there you go. One thing I noticed is um, here at the library or the local homeless are hanging out. Um, they're not to be found um, except uh, just one tent. So uh, that's just one half of the library, but that kind of gives a clear indication that People are coming out here and reaching out to the homeless, uh, probably today, or because I seen them yesterday. So obviously, they must have came today uh, during the first day of the, the shelter in place. So hopefully, that is true. That's the case. They can get them somewhere and check them out, and you know, get them into some place warm. It, it's been raining too uh, the last few hours, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, it's it, and in all honesty, so far from what I've seen, people. We're really kind of just uh, doing their own thing at this moment, so. And there's some guys right over there that were coming to play some basketball today, and usually this place is jam-packed. Every night it's jam-packed. As you can see, there's just one guy here, and right here in this dog park, this dog park is usually jam-packed with the locals, you know, meeting up with each other. And just a couple of days ago, people were standing around here, shoulder to shoulder, talking, laughing, having a great old time, letting their dogs run around and mingle. I don't know why they decided <laughs> they wanted to do that, but for the most part, this place, because of the good old virus, has been shut down for the most part, or people are just deciding to play it safe and stay home. Well, there's a couple of people right there. Some brave souls. But in the background, you can't see it in the video, but in the background, uh, softball field lights are turned off. They're not practicing today either. <laughs> 